Benedict Asafu Samuel's vision after winning Ghana's most beautiful 2021 was to transform inmates in the various prisons through quality education through her foundation. The climax at the Mensha Palace, the seat of the Asante Hene Satin State, the Queen Mother of the Ashanti Kingdom, Her Royal Highness Nanama Kunedu Yadom III, the wife of the Asante Hene, Lady Julia of Saint Tutu, as well as some top officials from the prison service. Safwa gave an overview of the project. Because this is going to be a life transforming um, project that is going to touch lives to the core. It is going to unlock and unearth relegated and dormant potentials that the society and the country at large has been missing and has lost. The Director General of the Ghana Prison Service, Isaac Kofia Samoa, lauded TV3 and Safwa for the project, stressing the service is doing its part to address the overcrowding menace in most prisons across the country. Recognizing the fact that the credibility of our correctional facilities is informed by the degree of rehabilitation and trade training regimes in place for inmates, the service has put in place programs including formal and non-formal education opportunities in some of the facilities for the benefit of inmates. The general manager for MDTV, Mr. Francis Doku, said TV3 continues to groom Ghanaian women to become future assets through the Ghana's most beautiful platform. Each year, over the period, the ladies who take part in Ghana's most beautiful choose the projects they would embark on should they emerge winner, or even if they do not win, and ensure that they carry it out after the show. As a consequence, over the years, the Ghanaian society has benefited from many social interventions and backed upon by winners and participants in the culturally relevant pageant. Ghana was beautiful. The wife of Asante Hini, Lady Julia Osset, too, on her part, commended TV3 and Safwa on reforming the prison's initiative. We're glad she's going to be a, a big role model for uh, winning youth. Who also have a lot to say when it comes to our social, economic development in our country. We know 275 juvenile inmates and 397 adult inmates have registered nationwide to write the final examination by the close of the year.